when I see automatic brightness, that makes me happy. I don't know about you guys, but on my Pixel 5, the automatic brightness, it does its job most of the time, but sometimes in dimmer environments, in darker environments, the Pixel 5's auto brightness goes down too low, a lot lower than my liking. I don't know if any of you have like had this issue. I won't say it's the biggest issue in the world. I can easily just bump the brightness up, but I don't have to do that on my iPhone. For the most part, the iPhone keeps its brightness where it needs to be. Pixel 3 does that too. So you, you've you seen that issue, E. Heller. You know what that's like. Well, Ed is saying the Pixel 3 auto bright works great. I I guess in my experience with the Pixel 5, it's it's it gets a little darker than I'd like it to. So here are the full functional patch notes. Uh, further tuning and improvements for volume level of system sounds. Yeah, didn't we talk about that? Wasn't that an article recently that the system sounds were at like max volume? Fix for issue causing speaker noise in certain scenarios. Further improvements for auto brightness response in certain lighting conditions. So it doesn't say exactly what, but I'll have to test it out myself. Fix for issue causing intermittent restarts in certain apps. I haven't had that issue, thankfully. Further improvements for auto rotation response in certain device orientations. Fix for issue preventing calls on certain MVNO networks. What MVNO networks weren't getting calls? Automatic brightness is certainly one area where the 2020 pixels could stand some improvement. I'm glad I'm not the only one who who's thought this. Thankfully, Google has included further fixes for the middling performance of the 4A, 4A 5G, and 5. Though we haven't noticed any issues with the speakers on the 4A 5G, fixes, fixes for noise in certain scenarios on that device are also included, plus a tweak to the volume of system sounds on the Pixel 5. Luckily, I, yeah, I got my updates on my 5. I... I did have issues on my past Pixel 5 because uh, this holds a visible SIM. This has a T-Mobile SIM. This is an unlocked version. This is a visible version, which apparently is unlocked, but I was getting my updates late. Whether it's because of the visible SIM, I don't really know. 4A 5G, same issues. Sometimes it's too dark. So you're seeing it too. As soon as I scroll down to quick toggle menu to add some brightness, it automatically gets brighter. When it gets too dark like that, I... I do get annoyed. I usually don't even toggle the brightness up. I kind of wait it out and see if it'll fix itself. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. And sometimes I just try to live with it. Zico Day says, nothing fixed regarding adaptive brightness on the 4A 5G. It's still slow to adjust. It's still too slow to adjust for my liking. I'll go with manual adjustment instead. That's unfortunate. I'm still, I'm still keeping mine on automatic. I don't think it's frustrated me that much that I have to manually do it. I, I just hope it doesn't come to that point. 